Well, this year marks a once in a lifetime phenomenon that many of us are not looking forward to. 17 year and 13 year cicadas are descending on the eastern U.S. at the same time. They're cute, don't you think? What do you think of these things? <laughs> Just precious. Man, so my backyard's already full of them. Maybe you've seen them as well. I've got the little holes of the ground where they come up. They're clinging to the trees. They've been emerging all over the triangle. WRL climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin has more on what we can expect here in this area. Here at Lake Crabtree Park, the cicada apocalypse has already begun. This little guy is a 13 year cicada and the only brood that we'll see in North Carolina. During this emergence, there could be up to a million of them per acre. A rare chorus of male mating calls will only grow louder over the coming weeks. If you're standing right beside him, you can get up close to 100 decibels. That's about as noisy as a lawnmower. A celebration of sorts after the insects have fed on tree roots underground for 13 years. It's going to be pretty deafening for about a month. Clyde Sorensen is an entomologist at NC State who studies the unique insects and says they're emerging earlier in the year. Where we typically would expect to see them you know, peak in mid-May, now we may see them peak in early May. Cicadas emerge when the soil temperature reaches 64 degrees. That environment warms up, we might expect their development to accelerate, but it's possible that we might see some populations kind of truncating their life cycle to 11 years. The 13 and 17 year cicadas will descend across 17 states. 16 counties in North Carolina are expected to see the 13 year species from north of Rocky Mount all the way to Charlotte. And so that's what a lot of folks might see first is these skins that this one is currently climbing out of. They might look strange, but cicadas don't bite or sting and they're non-toxic. So experts say it's OK to pick them up and take a closer look. This idea of only coming out once every 13 years is so cool and it's such an interesting strategy to have evolved that if you're lucky enough to come across one, you should just appreciate that, I think. You can download an app like Cicada Safari to see where they're popping up and upload photos. If you're bug averse, you might want to avoid wooded areas for the next couple of weeks. But remember, these little guys are harmless and you won't get to see them again until 2037. In Lake Crabtree, I'm Liz McLaughlin, WRL News. Just appreciate their life cycle. It's okay? just crawling just, all in Liz's yeah. hand. She's all <laughs> chill about it. Okay, Liz, props to you. We have what you need to know about the what, where, when, and why of the cicada invasion on WRAL.com right now. Just search bugs.